hi everyone so i come back today with another tutorial yeah so for those that have not yet subscribed to my channel please do so so that you don't miss out whatever that i put on my channel if you have any questions you can ask to this number on the screen here on whatsapp and i'll be there to respond to you and please make sure that you click on that button which says subscribe yeah on the screen there just on the right corner of the screen or just down the screen there there's a button which says subscribe if you subscribe yeah subscription is free by the way you don't have to pay anything if you subscribe uh, you'll be able to access a lot of videos and tutorial and lecture slides that I've been teaching and they will benefit you. A lot of people have benefited from this channel. You also can benefit and can get an A plus from just uh, following what I'm uh, posting on this channel bit by bit. Alright, so make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss out whatever that I'm going to be posting. So today we are solving... Uh, today we are solving... Uh, today we are solving question 3. Yeah, today we're solving question uh, three from tutorial sheet one, and then when you read through the question, it says let R be the universal set, and then D be equal to that, uh, E be equal to this, and then F be is equal to X such that X is less or equal to ten, where X is a member of real numbers. Yeah, so the first question here tells us to find E uh, slash uh, F complement. So this slash represents the uh, the difference of uh, two sets the difference of a set yeah in other ways it's just uh, it's just the same as this here so in other ways let me just do this I, this is just the same as this yeah so e slash f uh, can also be written as e minus f which is just the same as e intersection f complement so what we do here to find e intersection of complement we first need to list f as we can see f is in state builder notation so we can list it yeah we put it in interval notation so in interval notation f can be written as so this is um all numbers all real numbers that are less than or equal to 10 so meaning we're coming from negative infinity and then we're coming from negative infinity and then we're ending up to uh 10 like that since there is that equal sign that it, it it tells us to say 10 is also part of f so let us now um we know that e is equal to 0 0.8 let me just write it maybe here okay so e is equal to uh this is 0 0.8 okay so here now we have been told to find the intersection set between the two sets and then if you uh wait no let us first find f complement because here the intersection that we are finding is between e and f complement so f complement if that is our f if f is from negative infinity up to 10 it means that our f complement will start from uh 10 but since 10 is part of the set f it means that it will not be part of the set f and then we'll go up to positive infinity so now let us find e intersection f complement i'll just write it here so e intersection f complement uh, the the intersection set between this set and f complement there and then when you look at this set this one is starting from 0 to 8 this one is starting from 10 going to infinity uh which implies that there is no intersection there hence uh hence the set here is an empty set yeah so the question continues to say display it on the real line so i think uh, displaying the empty set on the real line i think you just draw the real line without indicating any any anything there so you can just uh draw anything like that so f negative one this is zero then this is positive one i think this is the empty set on the real line i can even put on top like that empty set so let us now proceed let us answer let us answer uh two this was one let us now answer two okay so for us to find the solution for two we need first to know what d complement is and what e complement because it's telling us to uh, that we use the sets above which is de 
D and E to verify that D complement is um, D complement intersection E complement is just the same as D union E complement. So for us to verify this, we first need to deal with the first part, which is the left hand side. So I'm going to say let the left hand side let the left hand side uh, be equal to. So the left hand side is going to be equal to D complement uh, intersection E complement. So we first find D complement. Okay, don't mind my handwriting. So we find D complement and we also find E complement. So E complement is going to be here. Let me let me just put it here. Yeah, and then afterwards we'll come and find the intersection set. So D complement there. Uh, this is our D. So meaning the complement of this set will come from negative infinity ending up to uh, negative 7. Since negative 7 is not part of this, then it's going to be part of D complement. And then this side we always put the open bracket like that. And then union, we start again from 4 since uh, D is ending at 4. So meaning we're going to start from 4. And since the bracket which is on 4 indicates that 4 is part of D, meaning, it's meaning when writing the complement is not going to be part of d and then comma uh infinity so for comma infinity okay like that so this is our d complement let us now find e complement so if this is e yeah so e complement is going to be equal to uh so E complement is going to be equal to, if this is our E, then E is going to start from negative infinity up to zero. So from negative infinity up to zero. Like that. So it's going to be like this. And then from there we say union. And then it will also begin from eight. Like that up to positive infinity like this so now the intersection of d complement and e complement so the intersection of d complement and e complement will give us uh, so when we look at these uh, two uh, sets that we have we can see that negative infinity is common there so we begin with negative infinity and then we say comma so which other number is, is common there we can see that negative 7 is there we also between negative infinity and 0 there is negative 7 so negative 7 can be put there so we use this kind of bracket and then we say union you also come to these other two sets here um, we can see to say the smallest number here is for the biggest number is eight then we can attest or you can agree with me to say um i mean eight is common from four to positive infinity there's eight there so eight is comma so we can write eight here and then we say comma uh positive infinity you can see that the positive infinity there is common so you write like that so this is our d uh, complement intersection e complement so we have found our error hs so this is our oh sorry we have found our lhs our left hand side let us now find our right hand side so our right hand side is saying uh, we find d union e complement so here what we are trying to prove is nothing but de morgan's uh, law so this is what we're talking about so to prove this one we first ha i mean to answer this one we first have to find what is in the bracket so what's in the bracket there if you can check properly is d union e so what is d union e so we first find what is in the brackets according to body mass 
so what we have in the brackets there is d union e so d union e we find the un the union set we combine the two sets this one and um, this one so when you combine these two sets you agree with me to say uh, we have we are moving the 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 smallest number that we have here is negative uh, it's negative seven and then from negative seven up to eight yeah so yes oh sorry not eight but up to zero so zero is part of e and i mean zero is not part of e so meaning it's going to be uh part of the union set sorry yeah i think let us just uh, say uh, i think let us just say eight because uh, when we say a uh, negative seven comma zero and then we say union zero comma eight it will not make sense so let us just say uh, the d, d union e is equal to negative seven comma eight because we're finding the universal set and not the intersection set i mean so the union set we're finding the union set meaning we're combining the two sets though zero is not in e we know that zero is between negative seven and, and four meaning it's also be part of this set negative seven over eight so this is going to be our universe i mean our union set sorry so this is going to be our union set so now we find um d union e complement so to find d union e complement to find d union e complement uh we we have to find to find d union e complement we need to find um the complement of this meaning we're moving from negative infinity from negative infinity up to negative seven yeah and we're going to have this kind of bracket since negative seven is not part of d union e meaning it's going to be part of d union e complement and then we say union we have eight then comma uh, infinity and then what kind of bracket that should we put on eight of course it will be this one because it's not part of d union e meaning it's part of the complement of that set and then this side we just put the normal bracket all right thank you very much for watching today's tutorial video please for those that have not yet subscribed you can subscribe or let me just make a conclusion on this one you can see to say this our right hand side and our left hand side are equal so meaning when concluding you say since this okay so in concluding here you just say since this is equal to that then i mean hence proved or hence are uh, shown since they are telling us to verify hence verified so you just say uh since you just say since um lhs the left hand side is equal to the right hand side since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side or the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and then you just write down there hence proved i mean hence verified yeah so you can just write it hence verified it's difficult to write uh, 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 letters using uh, the mouse of the laptop, so that's why that's why you find that's why I'm finding it difficult to write. So for those that have not yet subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you do so, uh, because you are you are going to be missing a lot of things if you don't subscribe. Subscription is free, yeah. Subscription is free. You don't have to pay anything. All right. So thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. I'll uh, see you in the next tutorial video. Shalom, shalom.